Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and good morning because you can probably tell by the puffiness in my face that I just woke up like 10 minutes ago. I'm gonna film a chit chat get ready with me. I've never done that so I felt like today would be a good day. I've done my makeup routine for you guys a lot and like I am gonna be mixing in a few of my new products that I got at Ulta. If you saw my last video then you saw my haul with my friend Sarah. Also, part of that haul was this rose gold Morphe collection and I'm gonna do some research after I film this video and so I can link in the description box below what each of these brushes is comparable to in the Morphe other Morphe sets because I think that's probably why this didn't sell so well, is because all it says at the bottom is Morphe. So, oh, I got my coffee here. We're just gonna chit chat, and I'm gonna tell you some of my ideas for the future of my channel. Um, I'd really like some feedback though, so if you're watching this and you've got some comments or um, suggestions that you have for me, Seriously, just leave some in the comment section below because I really do take into account every single thing that shows up. Now, I only have 22 subscribers, so there's only 22 people actually getting notified each time that I film. And uh, it's super appreciated because I am trying to figure out how I want to brand myself, what I really want to be doing. Obviously, most of it has been makeup so far because I just have a lot of fun with makeup, super interested in makeup. I've been a little hit and miss with my uh, uploading lately, so I know that I've been a little bit MIA. Believe me, I kicked myself in the butt for that. But I do have plans for this channel, and I do have plans for myself and my uploading schedule. Right now, if I'm sticking to it, which I haven't been very well anyways, um, I am, this is the L'Oreal Lumi Foundation. Ooh, that's pretty. I'm going to mix the L'Oreal foundation with the Magic Lumi primer, sort of create like a BB cream of my own. Sorry, I just got distracted by how pretty that was. But anyways, um, I do have plans to start maybe uploading a little bit more, but I want the videos to be a lot different. So here is my idea. I was watching this one girl. Not religiously, like I didn't really watch her that much, but if she popped up on my screen, I'd watch. I feel bad, I wanna do a shout out, but I don't actually remember her name. Um, but anyway, she does makeup tutorials and stuff. Super cute, she's from Australia. Um, but she started doing, now I don't know which, which came first. I don't know if she started with beauty first and then moved on, but all I know is that I am in love with her Mystery Monday videos. So she does research throughout the week and she comes up with this awesome show. I mean, it can be a 30 minute plus long video and I am sitting there enthralled the entire time. But then again, like my family, we love stories. And we used to watch all the shows, you know, the unsolved mystery shows. There's just something about that that I am obsessed with and I'll be honest I know a lot of people are just like oh it's not real I don't believe but I love ghost stories and it's because I have experienced quite a lot myself I still even have dreams about it and my dreams are super vivid so I've got tons of ideas and I'm thinking that what I want to do is upload one night a week so I'll be uploading Saturday and Wednesday mornings but then maybe uploading an evening video where I'm just kind of like on my little chair over there wrapped up in a blanket drinking some tea and telling you guys about my own personal stories like the scariest of my personal stories and then move on to maybe some of my dreams if you guys are interested in my dreams my boyfriend is constantly telling me Rachel you need to write a book about your dreams because they are so vivid and they're so detailed and they're just movie material and it is, he's right I mean they really are movie material I've got some crazy crazy dreams and then maybe start researching other people's scary stories and just 
retelling it because there's something about retelling a story and listening to somebody else tell it rather than just reading it online, you know? It's, it's a little bit different and honestly like sometimes when I be visiting my boyfriend we'll do that at night like we'll watch a movie or something and then before bed we'll just set the computer up we go online we find scary stories and then we just take turns reading the stories to each other and like freaking each other out it's so much fun so if you're interested in anything like that and you'd like me to do a video like that um, let me know give me suggestions because I would love to research stuff like that. By the way, I'm using my um, Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Medium. And my, I'm sorry, I forgot to tell you that my foundation shade is C5. So I remember being in college and reading this story about this girl who lived in like a big city. She really left out a lot of details to keep, you know, her own privacy and like the privacy of her friends that she was mentioning in the videos, which I commend. All she mentioned was that like it was a big city and so for a young college-age woman to be walking through the city in the middle of the night probably isn't super safe to begin with but it was a habit like she did it all the time like if she couldn't sleep she would just go you know. So she's walking and I'm not gonna tell you the whole story right now because I would love to do it for one of my story time videos but she's walking and this guy starts following her like the the detail that she put in her story about what he was doing oh oh my gosh just sitting in my room by myself I couldn't I couldn't do it oh my gosh oh no oh my gosh if he was acting like that like I don't know why she didn't run I guess because she didn't want him to think that she was scared and I guess that's like a smart tactic but my lord like I'm a fast sprinter it was nighttime, so I don't know, I feel like I would have booked it. So stuff like that is what I'd really love to get into. So I'm just going to go in with my Age Rewind Concealer and put a little bit over top of what I just did because although this is like a super creamy, beautiful finish, it's not quite as bright as I want it to be. So I'm just going to add a little bit more of this and, uh, you know, hope for the best. I'm going to use my Anastasia palette for the cream contour today. I think I'm just going to blend it out with my beauty blender for now. Some people just really prefer a brush over the sponge. I, I don't, but I used to because I didn't know what I was really doing and I was not wetting this. And I've told you this before, but you've got to wet the beauty blender. I really do recommend cleaning this before every single time that you do it because for me, for instance, I blend my foundation in with it. Then I blend my concealer in with it, and then I blend my contour in with it. And when you've got like 700 shades going on in your beauty blender, and you try to use it the next time, the dirty excess from last time might get all mixed up into your current routine. For my cheeks, I'm just going to use this little tiny Tarte. Um, the shade is called Party by Tarte. I got it in one of those little gift set things for getting a bunch of points. So I'm going to use the blush brush, just dust it onto the apples and drag it back. Okay, now I feel like that's really bright and I have not done my bronzer yet. So I'm going to go back in with that um, powder brush and dip it into my butter bronzer and just go over that blush and the cream contour with it and blend those colors in. Mmm, I just love the smell of this. It smells like coconut. So yeah, you guys, I'm just so excited. Please tell me what you want to know. Tell me what, what, what you want to hear. If you want to know interesting facts about me, maybe I'll do a 20 facts about me video. I think I'm going to start working on my thumbnails a little bit more too because right now it's just like, oh, it takes me like two hours to edit. The video to begin with and then like trying to put a thumbnail together is like ain't nobody got time so I just use the suggested thumbnail from YouTube which is never the right choice I'm not even gonna wait for responses like I'm just gonna go in for the storytelling I love to tell stories and that's what YouTube is about right doing what you love 
So I'm going to try it out and I hope that you guys love it as much as I do. Wow, this is actually really so nice with the fan. It just goes on so much more evenly than when I'm doing it myself, I guess. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Also, I have so much editing to do because I've been trying to film in bulk this week. <sighs> so that's always fun. I'm probably gonna spend the next like six hours editing my videos and I'm definitely gonna upload one today because it's Saturday. I'm gonna move on to my abizzles. And yes, I have weird names for everything on earth. I'm gonna use one of the bigger, fluffier blending brushes. I'm gonna go in with Golden Ochre in my ABS palette, uh, the Modern Renaissance ABS palette. These are so pigmented, but so good. Now I'm gonna go in with Real Gar, which is that really deep orange shade at the bottom of the palette. Swirl that onto the outer C of my eye. All right, I'm gonna go in with this um, flatter, broader brush. Um, just plop some purple on the inner corner, or I mean on the center of my eyelid. I think I'm gonna start with Love Letter, and then probably I'm also going to incorporate this Venetian Red, because the Love Letter is matte. This one is a little bit more shimmery, so I don't know, we'll see. I definitely wanna do a room tour so I can show you guys this stuff. I'm gonna do a review on my bed because I got it from an awesome website. And what else do I want to do? I'm using my new Tarte double side. So I use the gel in my waterline and then I use the pen for my upper lash. The other thing that I want to do is make my own vanity desk. So my boyfriend's mom was so sweet. She kept this desk for me for like so long. She wasn't using it for a while, but she wanted me to have it. And then when I moved here, I had plenty of room, so I took it, but it doesn't match any of my stuff. So every, if you can tell, like everything is gray in like teals, blues, like whites in that color scheme. And this vanity, which I know you can't see it, it's in front of me, is jet black. The seat has like zebra print on it. It is a cute, really, really cute vanity, and I'm super appreciative of her for saving that for me for so long, and it's been really useful since I've been here. But I do want something that I can probably use better as a background. Um, I want to have something that has a lot more storage and a lot bigger mirror and just a whole bunch of stuff. So I found a lot of materials at like Michaels and Home Depot and all that stuff that I've been like looking at and researching. So I could save myself close to $200, which means I could save you guys close to $200 if you watch my DIY video and decide to create your own. But that way it matches my theme, it matches my style. It'd be kind of nice to have like a flat surface that's white that I could maybe like take pictures of things on, you know, arrange them for my thumbnails. So I 100% want to do storytelling, but I would also love to do some DIY things if you guys are interested in that. It is dark. Good thing I'm putting falsies on today because otherwise this would not work. I'm going to go ahead and use my black duo glue and apply some of my favorite Ardell Wispies. Okay guys, that completes this chit chat get ready with me. I hope you're just as excited as I am about my new ideas. Uh, don't forget to leave me some comments in the comment section below to tell me if you're interested in those kinds of ideas, DIYs and story times. Um, if you've got any other ideas for me, I'd love to hear them also. I'm really excited for my channel, so thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you next time.